William, um, a colleague of mine recently had to do some research about GitHub and the open source community uh, for his bachelor thesis, and he found out that you are the number 122 GitHub contributor in Switzerland. So now that you know that, how do you feel about this? Um, I'm not surprised because one time I got invited to a GitHub conference in Berlin, GitHub Connect, I think, and under the pretense that I'm one of the top contributors in Switzerland. But how the hell is that possible and how is it calculated? Because I cannot imagine how I'm the 100th or whatever contributor in, in Switzerland. Is no one using GitHub in Switzerland? <laughs> is it all GitLab? <laughs> is that what it is? Or? Oh, well, that's, a, that, that's another topic. I think GitLab is uh, quite big in Switzerland for, for companies. But in terms of open source, I mean, it, almost everything is happening on GitHub. And I mean, with um, so it counts based on like, the commits and pull requests. It all counts as like one unit and then there's a, a leaderboard, there's actually a website, commits.top, where you can see what is your your rank. And the problem is that I always do these garbage commits, you know, with the emoji, <laughs> the wrench emoji. <laughs> That's how you <laughs> become a top contributor, because I guess I, <laughs> I do tons of commits. Um, because I'm not so active, actually, I would say, on GitHub. Yeah, right. So, yeah, there are people who go way crazier. Um, but yeah, is it is it something that I say you are you are proud of, or do you care about your GitHub contribution graph? I know this is a a big topic always. Is it um, is it meaningful the number of commits or your graph, if, whether it's green or rather gray? How do you feel about this? I used to care about the commit streak. A long time ago, now I, um, you know, I'm focused on different things. For instance, uh, the YouTube streaks. Or, <laughs> uh, but I would say before doing YouTube, I, I I used to to look at it. Obviously, is that something also you you look at? Is is this kind of gamification? Uh, do you like this kind of gamification for your work? Or so, I mean, I I naturally make. But I try to prioritize just like doing, doing the work and uh, committing in the way that I think it's necessary. But now that it turned out that like my graph is really nice and green, I I think it's uh, something nice. It's not something that I dislike, of course. I must say that um, these gamification tools they really work for me. For me. Um, there is GitHub um, on YouTube. I mean, on YouTube, you don't have such things, but I could imagine that such things would work. Uh, I think, so two weeks ago, there was one week where I didn't publish a YouTube video. And I think that's the first time in since February or at March for sure, maybe February, since, you know, since February for every week, I managed to publish one video. And that was... Uh, you know, psychologically, that was hard for me to say, okay, um, you don't publish a video this week. And uh, so it broke the streak. But I don't have a tool. There's no tool on YouTube that shows you, oh, you know, like green everywhere. Or, um, and especially, there is no incentive uh, for content production. There is no incentive actually to publish regularly because you might want on, only publish once a month or once every two months, but really publish, uh, you know, high quality of production video. So, but um, the reason I try to publish every week on YouTube is because I know that if I wait two weeks, the video is not going to be twice as good. So I try to find a trade-off between quality, but also me being productive. Um, so yeah, so there's GitHub contribution on my side. There's the coding I do, so the GitHub contribution, the YouTube videos. There's also the course, and there, there are yeah different metrics. And usually these gamification tools, if there are some that exist, they are uh, 
they usually work for me. I'm also a fitness enthusiast. And here again, I don't have like such a tool, that gamification tool that push me to to be more fit and so on. But I could see how how it would work for, for me. Yeah, right. I also like um, the fact that I'm that I go outside it's also dependent on like a running streak that I I started so it's another example of how the gamification um, works really well so I mean in terms of github contributions um, I found a a big way to inflate my numbers what's your number so I think I have over 7,000 yearly github commits um, but what's your rank in Switzerland? So, on on open source, it's uh, I'm not in the top 200, but I, there's also like a leaderboard for private contributions, and there I actually think I'm in the I'm in the top 10 even. Nice. Ah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. But I'm I'm gonna say it right now. I don't really deserve that because. So how do I get to 7,000 commits? And I'm happy to share this strategies with other people who I guess want to boost their profile it's really just that you have to install the Dependabot app and now <laughs> you get 5,000 contrib- <laughs> you get 5,000 emails all you have to do is just click merge every time you click merge you get plus one and you can be sure that you will never the, the amount of dependency upgrades in the JavaScript system. They will keep on coming. They will never exhaust. And yeah, so... It makes me think about this meme. Oh, wait, it's all dependent, but always has been. 